Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Ocamber, and welcome back to Ark. You may notice I have bats here, and I'm also missing one of my birds, which was over here in the last video. And somebody on the server stole it, and they won't fess up. Um, but anyhow, uh, in the last episode, we discussed some of the things they added for the Halloween update. As you can see here, I've actually put in some uh, cute little tombstones here, and, you know, like, welcome to die. That's always lovely. Um, I've also put up some, uh, you know, little thingamabobs here to make it look more festive, although it is not Halloween anymore. Um, scarecrows and pumpkins are gonna stay because I like it, and it's what I like. I did get some bats. I did not film that, unfortunately. The first one is Eldridge Poofington, and the second one is Lord Fluffy Butt the First. Um, let me just say that bats are incredibly difficult to tame, because the instant you succeed, they freak out and they attack everything in the cave. Uh, so, yeah, they're not worth it. <laughs> they're not even that powerful. Like, if you could ride, if there was like a bigger bat and you could ride it, that'd be awesome, but currently there is not. I would like a bat that could fly, it's like the size of a Quetzal, and breathes fire. That's just my personal preference, but um, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, anyhow, what's, what's going on with this episode besides my awesome mammoth with a pumpkin on it? Well, um, I've captured Godzilla, and I'll show you. Oh my god, it's Godzilla. Yes, the new dinosaur, which I will not try to pronounce its name, because every time I do, it sounds really weird. Well, this is, uh, my big-ass dinosaur here. We are going to ride him to victory. Ow. Ah. Stop walking into the spikes, damn it. Ah, uh, so Godzilla is, um, really big. And, uh, so appropriately named. Uh, yeah. This creature is awesome. I mean, he is massive in every way, shape, or form. I mean, he is... He is a biggin'. And, uh... As you can see, most creatures will not bugger off with him. Of course, that is their problem. They die the second they choose not to fight. Godzilla is a beast. Uh, yeah, there's very little that can go up against this creature. And they're incredibly difficult to tame. Um, so what are his stats? They're not that impressive, other than his health. Uh, he had about 300,000 health when I first tamed him. It drops because apparently the more pissed off they get, the stronger their stats get. Which is a cool thing. It's a, it's a rage system. Um, and uh, his weight isn't that good, but it's good enough. Food, I never really have to worry about that. My oxygen is a concern, but I'm not going to level it up because it is utterly pointless. Stamina, obviously, is the biggest thing you want because they start out with incredibly low stamina. Uh, and that's, you know, that's a problem. Um... Gigantosaurus. That's the name. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but I figure, hey, what the hell, we're already this far. Can I add a... No, I can't. That would have been awesome. Uh, I wonder if you can add a bone skeleton of a T-Rex on it. That'd be pretty neat. Um, so their movement speed is 100% to start out with, but they're actually faster than some people would have you believe. I mean, he's already much faster than most wild T-Rexes, so you're not going to outrun this thing on foot unless you've got all your points and speed. Um, so don't be fooled by the patch notes saying that they're slow, because they are not slow. They are quite fast. They just run out of stamina really quickly when they sprint, so you're not going to want to sprint anywhere for too long. We're going to kill this bird here, because why not? And he is dead. Let's not go in the water. Uh, I actually had another one of these, and it drowned when it went in the water, so that was fun. Uh, so I went out and I got myself another, uh, because why the hell not? And uh, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Um, his strength is only 90%, but let me tell you the truth. Uh, he's a lot stronger than 90% damage. Um, I've noticed this because he'll one-shot most creatures. He can two-shot a T-Rex, and they are quite, you know, durable. Uh, so, yeah. 
This creature is a badass. Let's uh, travel onwards and kill some things for levels, because that's what this episode's going to be. Killing things for levels, because I'm bored and I feel he needs levels. Godzilla, king of all monsters, in this case all dinos, needs levels. Let's not travel too deep in the water, please. Ugh. You're not meant for water. Oh, God. And this might be it. Ladies and gentlemen, I just killed my dinosaur. Help me. Get me out of here, damn it. There we go. <laughs> His incredible size makes him incredibly vulnerable. It really sucks, but... That's just unfortunate. We're just chomping down on the corpses of those cute little trilobites. Uh, let's, uh... Give some more health, why not, right? Could always use more health. Always. You just gotta watch his rage meter next to his health. If that goes too high, he will freak out, he'll throw me, and then he'll attack everything in the nearby vicinity, which might just be me. This includes fall damage. Fall damage will cause him to rage. Uh, I learned that earlier. He didn't freak out on me, but he, he got a little red there, which is never good. I think Argies will attack me outright. That's not... It's not good for me. I don't think they will. They might. They're opportunists. So maybe if I don't bug them, they won't bug me. We are going to kill these creatures, though. Because why not? I'll tell you one thing. I would not want to face one of these out in the wild. Like, if I was on foot, I would not want to be around it. Because that would be bad. Mmm, delicious dire wolf. You taste good. I'm gonna get near an RG and see what happens. I just want to see if they will fight me. I need to know what attacks this creature and what doesn't. I know T-Rex and Spinals will attack it. Okay, so it doesn't look like RGs are any threat to me. I am stuck on him, however. So they would be a threat if <laughs> you're trying to move and they get in your way. Okay, I'm glad they don't attack me, because that would be really annoying to just be flying through and have these little bastard birds be like, I'm gonna ruin your shit, and you get attacked. Like the T-Rex, this creature has an incredibly... Ow. Bite, damn it. Oh, okay, there we go. He can fight. He's just being a little silly. This creature has an incredibly uh, difficult time uh, turning, which is always a problem. But uh, for the most part, we're doing quite well here. I'm just rifling through his inventory. Give it a little bit of speed there. It's not a lot. He doesn't gain a lot of speed, so I think that'll be it. Um, I can see why they did that on purpose, because he's already a very slow turner. Making him any faster would just make it more difficult to man navigate. I can't see where I'm going, because the trees are in the way. Help me, please. Oh, there we go. Ah. Still trying to figure out his control scheme. He's, he's a little clunkier. Oh, there's a T-Rex there, just to show you the size comparison. I mean, I think the T-Rex is kind of outclassed here. Oh, yeah. Bite the T-Rex. Oh, you're messing him up. Oh. Yeah, this creature is a badass. Uh, did we get any more carotene? Anything like that? Chitin, maybe? Oh, lots of carotene. I like that. Okay, we're going to drop all the items here, because we do not need that many things. At some point, I'm going to stop giving them stamina, because it is kind of pointless. I mean, I would like to get myself some, uh... Hey there, Megaloceros, come here. I'm just going to bite you. I can't exactly... There we go! Yeah, yum, 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 you were good, you were good, you were good. You were so delicious. Um, at some point, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to have to give and take. It, it, right now, it's not looking like it's going that much higher. I would love to get to 500, but that might not happen. So I'm probably going to do health and damage. Probably uh, weight as well. I am carrying a lot of weight. Oh god, I just messed that Rex up. Okay. Be careful for this area. I could easily uh, go off the cliff, and I really don't want to do that right now. That would be bad. Can I repair that torch? It's gonna get night. Let's move you over here. 
I'm gonna quickly jump off of you. Hopefully I won't kill myself getting off of you. There we go. Okay. No, no, no. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted... Can I repair the goddamn thing, please? Torch, torch, torch. I'm repairing my torch. My dino likes it. He's tickled. He's like, ooh, you're making a torch on my back. And I'm like, yes, I'm fucking weird. Ah, we have another group of animals that needs a swift killing. Oh my god. I just bit them all in half. That's power. <laughs> That's power. Oh, 105% melee damage. They're pretty much one-shot most creatures in the game. Come here. Come here. Oh, wow. You're giving me exactly what I need. I actually need this stuff to make a cementing paste, so... I am actually doing quite well here. Um... Just one? One, really? One tusk? Let's give him some weight. Ooh, his weight is not very good. <laughs> He's not meant for carrying big loads! That's what she said. I'm just traversing the Arctic at night here. Got two birds here. Prime customers for getting eaten. So why the hell not? I put a little more points here into stamina. Just to give it, give it up to like 500 or so for now. And I'll worry about it later. I mean, stamina does seem like the smartest idea, just because of his consumption. Those little uh, animals there are going to have a great time eating that T-Rex. I almost fell off a cliff, and this would have been the end of my dinosaur. I actually lost my previous Gigantosaurus in this exact spot. Um, he fell off the cliff and drowned. I should say she. It was a she the first time. That was Godzilla Mark 1. This is Godzilla Mark 2. Sorry, bird. Run away. Delicious looking if I had to eat you. <laughs> I am terrible. There's a bird there. You are also dead for getting close to me. I'm sorry, you were no threat, but I think the only threat really comes from getting attacked repeatedly, because then this dinosaur starts getting pissed off. And the more it gets pissed off, the worse off it is for you. I mean all your stats shoot up, yeah. But your dinosaur becomes a problem very quickly for you. Um, and he'll actually kill your dinosaurs if they happen to be near him when he gets pissed off. He'll kill your friends. <laughs> he'll eat your mother. I mean, I've said this before, but this is very this is very true. This dinosaur has no respect for other people and their property. He's a scary, scary thing. Hey, wolves. I'll kill you all. And I'm gonna murder this T-Rex. Enjoyed your time in hell. Ah, <laughs> uh, we are way down again. Drop all those items. Thank you. Which is why weight seems like a good idea, but it's only giving us like 10 per point, which is. Okay. I think I've killed just so many creatures that the game is having trouble keeping up with the body count. Oh, well, there's more. Oh, man. That's crazy. Yeah, see, we only gain, like, four points in stamina. That's, that's kind of crap. Four points? I mean, what the hell? I'm just looking through my uh, loot here. See if there's anything I absolutely need. I mean, we can always get meat back. There's, there's no problem with just throwing prime meats and shit like that away. There's no purpose for it. gonna murder all these creatures and freeze the game because every time he gains a level the world itself can't comprehend it <laughs> oh I'm sorry about the lag that kind of sucks uh, so I'm gonna end this episode here this guy's I wanted to show off this awesome creature and uh, I can tell you where I got mine um, I got my Godzilla from the mountain range not this Godzilla, actually. I did, in fact, cheat this Godzilla in because mine died drowning. 
Now, the specifics of the drowning were that he had uh, decided to... Well, basically decided to drown while wedged inside of a rock. Yes, it fell into one of those little icebergs there and became one with it. So I said, well, fuck it, I had already tamed it, I might as well give myself one. And I had to retame another one, which was only difficult because, well, let's just say this thing tries to wake up a lot. So this Godzilla, I did not get from anywhere else other than the Book of Imagination, which is essentially just an item list. Um, however, you can find these creatures, as far as I'm aware, in mountain ranges. I'm sure there's other locations. Uh, we need... I just killed an Aquilo, which I didn't even know was there. I am so sorry. <laughs> sorry, Aquilo, I like you guys, but you're, you're in the way. And when you're in the way, you get eaten. Uh, so I will see you all, if I can find my way out of here. See you all in the next episode of ARK. Thank you so much for watching.